All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back once again to the Star Letter Star Series Season 14 presented by iLeague. My name is Blue. I'm your host for this evening's festivities. Heading into our second map now, which Efry currently leads in this best of three set 1-0, but we're already alive and well here. Into the pistol round. Unfortunately, I missed the knife round. Missed the call that we were going live, so make sure that we got the ads out. But look at this Frank flank from Efry coming out there. Bubble picking up the opener. So we're getting the response over here onto the farmer, and Victor trying to hold his own too. He's going to pick up the kill, and so unfortunate for Barcode because now the bomb's on the floor, but he's going to press through. Fortunately for him, and KL drops down from heaven. He's going to pick up the additional kill, and although Nay finds one more for his team, we're also going to see Dreamer coming back from the flank that they just, uh, you know, went on. They're going to be able to come right back in there, finish them off in a very aggressive CT side, which Orglis doesn't really seem to be able to do too well based off their performance from the last map. The E-Frag are going to be able to start things off once again very well for themselves, starting off 1-0 here in their advantage in this map as well. So, same story as we saw previously. And now we have to see them build upon this one, of course, on Orglis's side. Seeing how if they can strike back at this and see if they can get that second round stolen away. We saw a lot of rounds being traded back and forth and back and forth again. Mac over. Our last map being Inferno, but this map being once again over here on Cash, a very even one. One that probably, to be honest, one of the most even maps and one of the most balanced maps in Counter-Strike here. But that's going to be NKL trying to open it up for his team. Unfortunately, traded out very quickly by Nay and the Farmer there as they pick up actually two kills, clearing out the A site. So Orcless may have a chance to strike back at this one yet. They're going to get themselves right back into this to Farmer. Unfortunately, trapped in, but he is going to be able to get himself behind Big Red into a safe spot. Now Victor moving back in as well. He's going to find a headshot over here on a barcode. Looking for more as well, but as they press in there, there's going to be Bubble finding the jump shot. The Farmer holds from within quad. He gets dinked, but he's going to be able to pick up the kill regardless. And Victor, along a dreamer coming in for my main and as well pushing back in over there from the highways wall will be able to maintain it and they do take away the second room regardless of a very very nice entry coming out from the members of orglis so there we go 2-0 now in the favor of efrike and we are going to have a pause for some reason off the hands of orglis not exactly sure where that came from but looks like uh it's already wanting to be removed so <laughs> didn't really need that pause, not exactly sure why that was there. Assuming somebody just had a mouse problem or ping connection issue or something like that, but uh, yeah, it's been fixed pretty quickly. And now Orglis, thankfully, because they do actually uh, go in. They don't get the plan on the first round, but they get on the second round. So they're going to go for this very interesting buy here on round number three. It does allow them to go back in. Tech 9 and a Mach 10 sitting over there on Barcode and Deadflock, but three more rifles, so they can definitely work this take pretty competently. And for the time being, that B side a little bit under defended. Going to be moving Bubble back into here with the Floss. He drops down. Can't pick up the kill, though. The Farmer's going to drop in, but Dreamer still holds. Unfortunately, he's only going to be able to find one. As Flash will very quickly trade him out as well. So now leaving things in a 4 and 3 advantage here for the members of Orglis. Efrag looking to try and sneak their way back in at this point, and NKL getting some nice connection shots over there onto the farmer as well, but still, all these players working their way in from the CT side of this one, going to be very hard to work towards, especially with Orglis being so well established at this point. Very hard retake to work for, especially with only having one angle of approach to it, and they're just going to roll right in here. Good kill coming out there from Spy Leader, but Nay trades it, and Kale finding one, and he's going to pick up a second one off of the hands of Victor here too, so they move in. Dead Fox is going to be the last player, and that bomb is planted specifically for them, and he just sprays down the final two. That plant position, man, absolutely sick. Sucks for CTs in a very, very big way there. As again, if you get it down and if you could bring that timer down low enough to the point where, you know, obviously all he's going to do is pop right out and they have to stick the defuse anyway. Just that one player's pop out. And so long as he wins that one word, one versus one, the player who's defusing has no choice but to basically eat that essentially and hope to God he doesn't get peek him at the right time and he's given enough time to ninja, which obviously doesn't happen very often. So, uh, Efrag, Orgulous, apologies. They're going to end up winning the round off of the hinges of that one. They end up closing it out. Not a whole lot Efrag would have been able to do that. It's amazing they get three kills and survive with two players to be honest considering what they had to work with there for the retake but that plant position is just so so strong and if you can get it down there obviously there's not a whole lot that could be done to stop it even in a one-on-one -on -one, you basically just have to go right for your opponent try to find him first before he can even attempt that defuse this it's going to basically be suicide if uh if the t is anywhere within the within the, within hindsight of being able to hear things that are going on in that site which uh obviously be very foolish not to do that so orgless again will go for another buy off of this one efrag still going to be able to force things up a little bit themselves here too, but unfortunately not going so well at the get-go as Nay already picking up an opening kill here on the spy leader in order to take him down. Flash finding one back over onto Bubbles or Bubble apologies. Flash finding one over there to take down Bubble too, and now they can essentially just walk into the site. Unfortunately for Refrag, not really grasping what exactly is happening at this current point in time just yet, but Orglas are taking it pretty slow too, and they're gonna use nades and whatnot, so potentially Victor may be able to hear this. But overall, I don't think Efrag have too much of an invested interest into trying to do much else this round anyway. A bit unfortunate for Victor. Thankfully, more fortunately, as he's going to be able to escape this. But for how long is the question? 
As now he moves back, everybody else from the side of Ifra getting themselves inside of Squeaky there. And Flash not going to be able to catch this just as of yet. If he doesn't end up waltzing inside of Squeaky, could find a bit of a nasty surprise winning for him off the hands of Dreamer. Along with NKL and Victor all sitting here, all waiting for that push to come out. But nobody going to challenge it directly. You can see just how close those two are. 